I'm not sure if you guys have seen the video of Kobe Bryant in the NBA Finals about a decade ago, but he talks a little bit about how the job is not finished when the reporter asks him, hey, you're up 2-0. Like, why aren't you smiling? And he says, well, is the job finished? I don't think the job's finished. What's there to be happy about? And, you know, today's my birthday, and so... When I woke up at 4.30 to start getting ready to go to the gym, I took a good hard look at myself in the mirror. And I asked myself, as I'm turning 27 today, is my job finished? Is my task done? Is God's will for me completed? Absolutely not. And so... I got up after the after looking at myself in the mirror and I kept going and I went to the gym. I ran 4 miles. I lifted weights for an hour and 45 minutes and I called it for the workout. I went to work for my day job and now I'm doing the YouTube video and I've got some work to do after this that I've got behind the scenes to work on. So I'm not stopping. I don't have any reason to really celebrate my birthday today. And it's not because I don't like celebrating my birthday or it's not because I don't like celebrations. It's just like I don't see as many people being empowered to prosper as I'd like. And I see a lot of deceivers and a lot of liars and I see a lot of inconsiderate takers that are just eating the life force off of the chosen. So, no. I don't have anything to celebrate. Not today. Will I condemn celebrations? Absolutely not. But I will say this. Beware of people that celebrate too early. And beware of people that celebrate too often. What's there to celebrate when you still have a job to do? When I realize that I am fighting for my relationship with God, everything changed for me. There was no more Netflix at night. There was no more desserts whenever I felt like it. There was no more excuses. There, was, there were no more ways for me to distract myself from temptations. There was no reason for me to resist the things that I was feeling. There was no way for me to not confront what I absolutely needed to confront. So, why would I celebrate? Why would I celebrate if I have so much to work on in myself? And what better do I have to actually do with my time? In fact, I like doing what I'm doing even on my birthday. Why wouldn't I? And sure, I appreciate the comments and I appreciate the messages and I appreciate everybody wishing me well on this day. But to be honest, that's just not enough for me right now. We have something to build together. We have something to accomplish. And I don't have the results that I actually want just yet. Am I on the path? 100%. Am I on my purpose? 100%. Absolutely and totally. No doubt about it. But the results are not where I want to be just yet. So why would I stop and put my life on hold for a celebratory act 
just for the sake of celebrating something. This is something I think way too many people do too much. They just celebrate to celebrate. Oh, it's Friday. Let's celebrate. The f- like you're going to celebrate because it's a day in the week. You know, I was I was at the gym and I got a lot of stories from the gym, but one of the guys there, I don't know who he was. He just started talking to me when I was in the locker room getting ready. He just started asking me if if I survived the weekend. Like, I don't really take days off, so yeah, I guess. Sure. The weekend's the nice part. I get to focus completely on what I need to do. And I didn't say all of that. I just said, yeah. Because what else am I going to say? Like, (laughs) I don't know you. And I don't like to talk much to people I don't know. Because most people in the world that we live in today are people that I'm just not impressed with. I've met people virtually on my YouTube channel here and I've communicated with people in the comments section that I'm more impressed with than people in my own community. And that's not a diss on the people in my community. I'm just saying that a lot of people just aren't even trying. It's like they don't even want to put in the effort to be a better person. I don't care if you are working at like at, at at some kind of fast food restaurant or whatever. But if you're going to do that, like just be the best version of that thing. You know, I was at Starbucks the other day and they got my my order in super quick. And I was like, that's what I'm talking about. I encourage that. Because that, that's somebody that actually takes their job seriously. And I can have respect for you, no matter who you are, if you at least try to do your job to the best of your ability. But I heard a conversation this morning, interestingly enough, with the content that I made yesterday in my video about modern women trying to gain control of men and listening to the devil. I overheard this conversation this morning at the gym between a pair of uh, 25, 26-year-old women, maybe a year or two, give or take. And they were talking about how they're just not ready for marriage and, you know, that's just too big of a commitment for anybody right now at that age. And, you know, they have 10 years before they get to decide. (laughs) Who the... You think you get to decide? You think you get to decide? You know what? That is funny. That is funny. But then you start to really think about what they really think. And you're like, wow, wait a minute. You actually genuinely think that you have 10 years before you get to decide if the man that you want, the kind of man that you want is going to want you or not. You think the man is just going to stick around and be ready to take you back whenever you feel like it. Whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready, sweetheart. (laughs) No. (laughs) No, not at all. Look what we've done to the future generation, people. It's so sad. You know, and I see these these guys come into the gym. There's this group of guys, probably three guys, four guys. Depends on the day, but there's a solid group that comes in about six days a week around the same time that I go in the mornings. And they'll they'll be there for an hour, but they all switch on the same machine. All three of them switch on the same machine for the whole hour. 
You know, they'll go over one machine, they'll switch off, go to the next machine, switch off, et cetera, et cetera. And it's like this is a social time for them. The gym is not a place to be social, necessarily. You can be social, of course. Like, that's how you can meet people. Fantastic. But that's not, like, why you go to the gym. And if you're the kind of guy that needs to be talking to people, especially other men every day, to be honest, I don't trust you. Why would I trust somebody that needs to talk to men every single day? Why would I need to trust a man that needs to talk to other men every single day, that can't take some time for himself, that can't enjoy his own solitude? And these women. They they think they genuinely think they're just brainwashed, man. Like they're just brainwashed. Society's brainwashed them to think that they're most valuable when they're not most valuable. Now is the time when they're most valuable. And that's like and that's if they keep themselves fit and healthy and friendly. And cooperative. Which, it didn't sound like one of these ladies is very cooperative. In fact, she sounded very disagreeable. It's like, who would want you in 10 years when you're even more disagreeable than you are now? (laughs) 35-year-old woman that is highly disagreeable? No thanks. It's crazy, like, like this goes back to the celebrating too early. They're just, these people are celebrating nothing. And they're just celebrating to celebrate, you know. Oh, well, we're young, so it's fine. (laughs) Do I look impressed? Do I look like I want an embarrassment by my side to continue my bloodline? When the time comes, do I look like somebody that is going to be laughing at the degeneracy that you've bestowed upon our society? No. And if I have to sacrifice my life To restore some kind of order to the modern world that we live in. The modern fucked up world that we live in. Excuse my French. I'm feeling very passionate at this moment. (laughs) If I have to ensure order is established and restored by sacrificing my life for the sake of future relationships... I will gladly take that sacrifice because I know in Jesus' name I will be with my Father in Heaven. And I pray for everybody, every godly man, every godly woman watching this video, every man and woman with a sense of integrity and morals, I pray for you to keep due diligence. I pray for your ability to gain insight and wisdom. And I pray for you to see the glory of the Most High. And with that being said, peace be with you. Till next time.